Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ivan Raevsky. On behalf of all decent Russians, I officially declare this flag sucks. Yeah, I bought a tie for the official part. Now get ready for a fucking cringe. How do you guys breathe in these things? If you guys watch uh, Russian English language channels or you've been on some uh, Russian protests in Europe, you've probably seen this uh, white, blue, white uh, new flag of Russia, which is used by the Russian opposition abroad. Some of you probably support this, uh, thinking it's a good thing, good for Russian future or good for the world, for peace. In this video, I will briefly try to explain to you why it's not. First of all, we already have got a flag. Uh, don't worry, not this one yet. Our flag, tricolor white, blue, red flag, the flag of Russia. The thing is, uh, nowadays this flag became very toxic because uh, it's associated with Putin. But it's not a flag of him and his government. It's a flag of a country. He cannot just take it away from us, cross out the whole history behind it. For example, you've got an old family name, some great ancestors, they've built a great famous winery, they've created huge wine yards, built a big mansion nearby. That all belongs to you and your children and their children. But your father, he got sick, you know, some mental problems. He's ruining everything, your business, your mansion, your legacy. Would you want to give up your family? your history, your name? Would you wish your father a speedy oblivion or just you change your name and get lost somewhere? What kind of person would do that? Of course you want to cure the man. By the man I mean a country, not Putin. You want to cure the man, restore your name, your legacy. That's what a decent person would do. Let's see what the creator thinks about this new flag. It was created by Kai Katonina, a non-binary person who lives in Germany. A new Russian flag created by a woman who thinks she's not a woman and lives in Germany. Yeah, it's, it's gonna work, obviously. That's a great plan, Walter. That's fucking ingenious if I understand it correctly. It's a Swiss fucking wad. It participated in the protests in Berlin. Its poster said uh, Russians against, you know what? Uh, and the journalist came up and asked, Oh, are you Russians? It became clear that we need to clearly designate ourselves as Russians against the, you know what? And not just some people. There was a general agreement that such a symbol was needed. How about a Russian flag? No? Then it published its new version without bloody red line. You stupid fuck, it doesn't mean blood. You don't know the history of your own country and your flag. Go read some Wikipedia or something. You can just change the meaning for colors of the flag if you want. It doesn't work like that. We cannot go to protest under the Russian flag because it's uh, discredited by the Putin's government. Well, maybe you will not tie the country to the state in the first place, because that's what you're doing. It is a flag of a country, and you just help Putin and give him everything. You say that the country is a state, but it's two different things. The country always is against the state, any country. They cannot be the same thing. In other countries, people go protest under their country flags. Uh, in the US, Americans protested against many wars under the American flag. Republicans and Democrats are constantly at war and both sides uh, go out to protest under the American flag. Even BLM, yes, uh, they've got their symbol, but they don't say it's a new flag of a country. French people also protest under their flag, etc, etc. Just imagine. Just just imagine they would create a new fucking flag every time they don't like something their government does. Even some really, really bad things. Fuck it, fuck it, let's do it. Get ready for a cringe, I said. To begin with, we will remove all the red color from all the flags. 
one way or another our countries uh, shed a lot of blood waged uh, wars of conquest uh, so red color obviously means blood obviously get rid of it for good from any fucking flag what's next france uh, white means uh, fast surrender to the germans that's not cool get rid of it too uh what's under white nothing let's put alpha channel doesn't matter Italian, green, 100% uh, means the Mafia's blood money, get rid of this, we don't need that. It casts a huge shadow over Italy, no, 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 no. Well, the United States, there are no red lines anymore, white lines obviously mean white supremacy, and we need a real diversity. That's better. Uh, stars means police brutality against black population, of course, fuck the stars. We need less stars and more African-American people so they could protect themselves. Like that. Yes. Good. Good. Perfect. Choose one. Any you like. Okay, let's, let's be serious. Uh, I think we should mention uh, Belarus flag 2, uh, the new Belarus flag 2 and see the difference. Uh, in 2020, Belarus protested against their government. Uh, they went under the white, red, white new flag. But the point is, this flag is not newly created. It's an old national Belarus flag, because the current Belarus flag is a copy of Soviet Belarus flag. Russian flag, though, is an old flag. It's hundreds of years old. Under this flag, Russians fought against monarchy, then against commies. Under this flag, we changed back from the USSR to Russia. Under this Russian flag, Russian opposition protested in Russia against the government. And now they cannot do that because some people decided it's not their flag anymore. Okay, 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 fuck the morality. You will answer, what if I don't give a shit about your culture, your flag? Um, I will support this fake flag if it will help the course of peace. Okay, you have right to do that if you are not Russian. I understand that. Let's talk about effectiveness. You think these people under this shitty flag can succeed? But what if I tell you that this flag is one of the main reasons why they will fail? Belarusians, after their protests and a huge wave of immigration, created a strong Belarus community abroad. They could leave the country and stay Belarusians under the national flag in other countries. That's why they keep supporting the protest even from abroad. Why Russians don't do that? Uh, they are not allowed to. Now it's impossible to create uh, a Russian community in other countries, to help refugees, to build the connections, to keep fight for their country from abroad. Here you go, new fake flag, uh, don't call you Russians please, we don't like it here. If you go protest under this flag, uh, you can only support Ukraine, don't forget it. We don't give two shits that you fought for your country against the government last 10-20 years. Don't worry comrade, we created a new government for you. Don't you ready for a cringe yet? The Congress of People's Deputies in Poland. The new Russian government in exile, with the new flag of Russia, of course. Who are these fucking people? The organizer of the event is Ilya Ponomaryov, ex-State Duma deputy. He set up the protest on Balotne 10 years ago. As a deputy, he voted uh, for the law on internet censorship in Russia, Gennady Gutkov. An ex-FSB officer, he was a loyal to Putin deputy on the uh, 2000s. And this congress was opened by Polish politician Yaroslav Halopski. The most hilarious thing here, they were told not to use the word Russia in the title. That's a fucking surreal. It doesn't need any comments. Поправка к тексту, к названию. Хорошо сформулируйте. Значит, дополнить название словом России и будет звучать так: основополагающая декларация съедов народных депутатов России. И так везде. 
Я прошу, если есть мнение другое, пожалуйста, Илья Владимирович. У меня просто еще раз просто конкретная просьба, потому что это будет нам вредить в переговорах. Это совершенно точно будет нам вредить в переговорах. Сейчас такая международная ситуация. Зачем себе создавать искусственные сложности, если и так все знают, что это Россия. И флаг, флаг сверху есть, и весь текст этому посвящен, то есть, ну и так далее. Cringe. Well, will any uh, decent Russian man support all these clowns? Just imagine some rural Russian factory worker Slava. He starts thinking something is not okay in the country. He's looking for any alternatives. He looks at the small white blue white flag movement. They can't wear the country flag because some Polacks or some Czechoslovakians or Germans don't like it. And they gave you a new flag created by it from Berlin. The Congress of New Russia is a bunch of clowns, some ex-deputies who are afraid to use Russia in their name. What will that common worker think? Fuck that, I will stick with Putin. Or, or I will do nothing, I will not support this in any circumstances. But who supports this? In my experience, all these people gave up Russia a long time ago. They became Germans, Polacks, Americans, whatever. They are not interested in building Russian future. They go to protests under this flag uh, to score some points, that's all. They don't give a shit. People who give a shit, they will not support this ever. Because it's not some anti-Putin flag, it's anti-Russian flag. White, blue, white will never win. It's just a waste of your attention. I'm not saying all these people, they do that on purpose, they're all bad or something. Maybe some of them really think uh, it's a good idea. They're just useful idiots. Please don't be offended. This term is uh, used in Russia in relation to those who help the enemy and don't know about that. Useful idiots. If I were some FSB agent, uh, if I was thinking how can I dump these protests nowadays? I would create this anti-Russian flag and give it to opposition. That's, that's fucking brilliant. Some fun in the end, as always on my channel. Uh, they say this flag comes from the Novgorod Republic's flag. And Novgorod Republic was democratic. First of all, they didn't have such a flag in the old Novgorod Republic. And the second... There was no democracy there. It's a historical myth. They completely don't know their own history. What a shame. What it really looks like is the coloring of a Russian police truck for arrested people. Conclusion. Uh, if you thought that's a pro-Russian flag, I hope now you don't. If you thought it can help the protest, now you see that will not. If you understand all I said before and you supported this flag on purpose, you're just an asshole. Bye.